Rihanna can't tell us much about work, and I'm pretty sure these ladies can't either. You don't gotta go to work. Let's get into the physics. What exactly is work according to physics? Well, common definition is the product of force and distance. Well, that's close, but displacement is better than distance. So work is the product of force and displacement. Almost. But force and displacement, both of those are vectors, and they do have to be parallel to each other for work to be done. So work, properly, is the product of a force and a parallel displacement. So we have a definition, and the equation is the same as the definition. And it turns out that parallel, you can have positive work done if the force and displacement are in the same direction. And you'll have negative work done if the force and displacement are in the opposite direction. But you won't have any work done if the force and displacement are perpendicular to each other. Let's get into some examples. You're pulling your favorite nurse along at a constant velocity. What kind of work is done by that orange pulling rope? Here are some forces. The pulling force and the friction force balance each other because of the constant velocity. It is moving forward. So that forward pulling force and the forward displacement give you a positive work done by the pulling force. But unlike force and displacement, work does not have a direction. So don't be telling me it does. Now we take our nurse and put her in a spinning elevator at a constant velocity upward. The pulling force and the weight are again balanced because of the constant velocity. She is moving upward again. And we know that the force and displacement, if they're parallel and in the same direction, there is positive work done. So positive work done by that pulling force while she's being lifted. Now let's take a look at that little equation. The product of force and displacement and the cosine of the angle between them. Theta is angle. Same direction, angle zero degrees. Opposite direction, angles 180 degrees. Perpendicular, 90 degrees. Just measure the angle between one vector and the other. And remember, when the force and displacement are opposite, work done is negative. Same situation. Ignore that pulling force, it balances the friction force, and pay attention only to the friction force acting backward. The force and the displacement are opposite, so work done by the friction force is negative, work done by the pulling force is positive. But that negative does not mean backward, because work does not have a direction by its very nature. So in our elevator situation, we have the displacement up. But the force, the weight, is down. So that would be negative work from the weight. What are you talking about the force and displacement are perpendicular? When does that happen? Actually, pretty often. Here's some examples. Really? The same situation again? Well, yeah. Because the pulling force and the friction force are not the only forces involved. We also have that weight. And we have the normal force, and those two are balanced because it does not accelerate in the vertical direction. So as a result, moving horizontally, normal force and weight, both perpendicular to the displacement, zero work. All right, almost done. Just a couple more situations. Now the force is pulling up at an angle like that. That pulling force is both to the right and up. So you'll have to find the components. But we do know that the x component of the pulling force is balanced with the friction force because of the constant velocity. Imagining a hypotenuse of 10 newtons and an angle of 37 degrees, 10 cosine 37 degrees gives you the x component, and that's the one we want. Y component, same process with sine is 6 newtons. Yeah, I'm making up numbers here. 20 newtons down, 14 up plus 6 up, they balance. 8 newtons forward, 8 newtons back. Keeping in mind our equation and our definition, the forward force, 8 newtons, does positive work. The backward force, 8 newtons, does negative work. And all the up and down forces, they don't do any work. And once you get that 10 newton component, vector components are vector replacements. You'll get exactly the same results with F delta X cosine theta. The given imagined angle was 37 degrees. So take that 10 newtons, multiply it by the displacement and the cosine of 37 degrees. And do the same thing for each of those forces. Use this as your angle guide. Same answers. 
Is work being done by that pulling force? Are the force and the displacement in the same direction? Why, yes. Yes, they are. But remember, positive or negative work still does not have a direction. Like those pants? So you're running up the stairs. How much backward friction force is acting on you? What? Pretty much none? So there's no forward force necessary by the pr principle of inertia? Exactly. Only the vertical counts. Vertical displacement, just measure the height and the weight and the normal force. I used constant velocity situations here so that the net work would be equal to zero. Add them up, you get zero, right? That's because the net work causes an equal change in kinetic energy. That's the topic for a different video. So, work in physics is the product of a force and a parallel displacement. The equation says exactly the same thing. Force and displacement, same direction, positive work. Force and displacement, opposite direction, negative work. Force and displacement perpendicular, zero work. That's what you need to know. Thanks for watching Learn Physics. And thanks for that thumbs up too. Really helps a lot. New videos most academic weeks. Subscribe for more. I've even got education ideas, Freaky Physics Friday, and Tech Tip Tuesday. And for bicycles, motorcycles, and family adventures, it's my other channel, Bike Physics. You just learned physics.